Hey everyone, I'm going to be starting a new playlist and that playlist is going to be SQL select statements on Call Manager, CUCM. There's a few reasons why I wanted to do this video. One reason is that um, it can be hard to find the database dictionary for the CUCM. They, they move it all the time. I have no idea why it's being moved so often. And then they don't have redirects for the links and I don't know, even if you Google CUCM database dictionary or data dictionary, uh, you, you'll find some stuff out there, but it's going to be old and it's not going to be on like a, on, on official Cisco websites or on DevNet or anything like that. It'll probably be out on somebody else's web page. Um, what I'm going to do is create this. I, I created this repository down here and I uploaded 11, 11.5, 12, 12.5. If I can find 12, I'll put it here. And, you know, whenever 14 or whatever version comes out, I'll try to put it here as well. And also the videos that I'm going through, I'm not going to be teaching SQL. One of the ways that I learned SQL was one, just by doing it, looking at um, the way other people did it, and then trying to do what I wanted to do. Um, eventually, I did take this SQL fundamentals course, which was pretty cool. And... I'll put a link to this course in the uh, description of the of this video. Also, whenever you fi whenever you finish this course, you'll get a, a relatively nice certificate out of it. If you want to take that to your um, management team and show them that you're actually still progressing and doing some sort of development. With all of that said, I want to talk about what the first SQL command is that I'll be covering, and I'll show you here that if you go to device phone and you select a phone, then you select the directory number on the phone. When you scroll to the bottom, you can associate an end user. This is something that a lot of people need to do for I am in presence. If you were to go to call routing directory number, I think we selected 1001 there, I think. So we'll click the same, but it doesn't matter which one you select. You don't have that associate end user here. And it doesn't matter if you associate the end user with the device. That, that doesn't accomplish what needs to be done. You have to associate the end user here at the bottom of the directory number after you selected the, the device. The reason for that is um, this particular setting, this particular configuration is important because it, it ties the directory number configured on the device to the end user. So it's a, a three point deal. The directory number, device, end user. Why is the SQL query? Why is this SQL query important? This SQL query is important because there are a lot of people out there that have done some associations for line line device end user. However, they haven't done all of them, and they don't know which ones aren't completed yet. So they're just kind of hunting and pecking. The problem here is that there's no command like a show show end user line device configuration there's no show command there's no utils command and there's no report in the reporting page or anything like that which allows people to identify specifically which devices and lines still need this associate end users configured the sql query that i created though will actually tie it all tie it all in and it was it was relatively difficult for me to make this sql query because um I didn't know which table it was in. I was trying to look for in the, uh, I think it's D enter pattern. Um, no, it's not D enter pattern. Uh, route, route plan. What is it? Num plan. I was trying to look in the num plan table. I was trying to look in the device plate table. I was trying to look in the uh, end users table or whatever it was. Um, I couldn't find it at all. So um, that's enough talking about it because I'll be covering it in, in the video to come. And uh, I hope people enjoy this. I'll be covering other stuff too, like how to how to check entire configurations for particular features, like call uh, call recording, uh, phone VPN. Um, I'll talk about how to check what permissions are on users, what 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 uh, groups are they associated with. I'll go through some other ones that are also just really simple that aren't all too complex, but. I'll probably group a couple in, into a single video for those. However, some of the SQL queries that I'll go through are joining multiple tables and they can get pretty complex. So 
I hope that it's useful for folks. I hope that people enjoy it. And I look forward to making this playlist.